And also coming to a victorious end is Paris Fashion Week. In fact, it's been an exciting week in fashion. On Wednesday, visually impaired women tackled stereotypes during the second blind fashion show on the final day of the Paris Fashion Week. And just a day after the fanfare in the Paris drew to a close, Arab Fashion Week opened in Dubai. Take a look. The models may be visually impaired, but they all walked without a cane or a dog. Instead, a nylon line guided them. Most were on the runway for the first or second time. It's really exciting because it's different than any other kind of model modeling anybody else does. It's to prevent for the blind and to help them. The organizers, a non-profit association called Give Them a Chance, have made it their mission to spread awareness, break down stereotypes and celebrate diversity. And unlike all the other shows in Paris this week, this one was about the people rather than the couture. And just a day after Paris Fashion Week closed, 25 designers from all over the world showcased their collections at the five-day Arab Fashion Week. Emirati designer Lamia Aberdeen was one of the designers selected to show her collection on opening night. Her collection, Le Voyage de Carnival, was inspired by vintage carnivals and fairgrounds. Aberdeen started off designing Abaya, a rope-like dress worn by some women in parts of the Muslim world. But she said modest wear is not only reserved for Muslim women. So the way you, you dress modest can be, can be of any nationality, of any race, of any religion. This is what I like to encourage because modest wear is for everyone. It's not just for one person or one identity. But um, it is gaining a lot of recognition right now. And talking about the abaya, since I started my career as an abaya designer, um, the nice thing is that the international designers are actually getting inspired from our abaya. And they are coming up with their own uh, you know, uh, selective collection. Even big brands like Dolce & Gabbana have launched special Abaya collections in order to tap into the Gulf market. But Jacob Abrian, chief executive of Arab Fashion Week, wants the event to be known for more than clothing that appeals to an Arab or Muslim audience. He is open to modest wear on the catwalks, but hopes for the event to have global appeal and to be as competitive as the shows in fashion cities like Paris and Milan. Natalie Pang, CCTV.